There will always be a version of Facebook that is free. It is our mission to try to help connect everyone around the world and to bring the world closer together. In order to do that, we believe that we need to offer a service that everyone can afford, and we're committed to doing that. Well, if so, how do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run ads. Facebook is not what it used to be. If you've been hit with unexpected restrictions on your ad accounts and you're waiting for days, even weeks, for the appeals process to take place, you're not alone. There is a noticeable increase in the number of ad accounts and restricted pages that are randomly disabled or banned. The Facebook ad algorithm experiences difficulties due to Apple's privacy changes that rolled out a few years ago and even today there is not a working solution. As a result of the iOS 14 privacy update, Facebook ads are not delivering results. Advertisers have problems with restricted ad accounts and in the summer, Facebook reported a decline in quarterly revenue. Apple's privacy update completely crushed Facebook's super effective advertising platform. If you've been struggling with restricted ads, you know the most annoying part, talking to Facebook ad support. The disappointment of talking to Facebook ad support is unbearable. If you've been actively advertising, you probably think I'm spending thousands of dollars on Facebook and the support is totally useless. In many cases, I feel like I'm not talking to a real people and the support chat is just bots. Talking to a real person on Facebook will get even harder because Facebook announced that it would cut jobs this year by 10%. Fewer people working for Facebook automatically mean don't even hope to talk to a real person when contacting Facebook ad support. Facebook or Meta is facing real challenges because the stock price dropped significantly in the last few weeks. According to an article in Forbes, the stock price fell because of weak advertising demand. Advertisers cannot use the platform reliably anymore. That's why many ad buyers are transitioning to content marketing, YouTube ads, and even TikTok ads. But the problem with Facebook do not stop here. Earlier this summer, many users reported celebrity spam flooding their Facebook feeds due to a Facebook feed algorithm change. Facebook users do not want to see this content and that's why people spend less time on Facebook and Instagram. People prefer to spend time on a platform that cares about the users. On top of that, there was a random head attack against Instagram's new algorithm. Some of my favorite YouTubers and content creators made videos about how Instagram is not the same and how they're transitioning to a platform called Vero. Peter McKinnon first made a video called The End of Instagram and many other YouTubers followed the trend. Basically, he said that the Instagram algorithm is not the same, he is losing followers and his content probably does not get any reach because nobody is on Instagram to see it. Advertisers are not happy because ads don't work. Facebook users are not happy because they see spam on their wall. Content creators are not happy because they don't get the same reach. Investors are not happy because the Facebook stock is hitting rock bottom. Many now doubt the leadership skills of Mark Zuckerberg. Former CEO of medical company Medtronic, Bill George, attacked Mark Zuckerberg and said that bosses that lose sight of their most deeply held beliefs, values, and purpose as leaders, especially in the name of money, fame, or power, are doomed to fail. Maybe it's time for a change. Should Mark Zuckerberg retire from Facebook? What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments below. It's sad to see Facebook and Instagram in this condition because I've literally made millions from my clients using the platform. The most recent common reasons why advertisers get restricted or disabled on Facebook include inauthentic behavior or violations of advertising policies or community guidelines and circumventing systems. These are just regular violations, but the system might slap you. If you keep on creating new Facebook ad accounts and business managers, this will breach the circumventing system policy and you risk further restrictions. You need to wait and be super patient when waiting for your ad accounts to get approved. But people are furious and hate waiting. The account quality team is responsible for approving your restricted ad accounts and Facebook pages, but their system is overclocked. If you have problems with restrictions, I suggest you first contact Facebook support. I know this sounds contradictory to what I said earlier, 
Still, I discovered that contacting Facebook support to log in the ticket takes much faster because they'll direct the issue to the proper department. If you don't want to wait three months to get your Facebook ads account back, first contact support. Now, they're called Facebook Support Pro, but it still sucks. You should consider YouTube ads if you're sick and tired of Facebook ads. Check out my case study where I'll show you how I generate 22K per month with YouTube ads consistently without having any issues with restricted ad accounts. The link is in the description below. My name is Nico. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you soon.